of monumental size and power. We have come in peace because we need your help. And in return, we will gladly share with you all the fruits of our knowledge. You talk about an offer we can't refuse, huh? I wonder what would happen if we did. Manufacturing plants around the world were retooled to produce chemicals the visitors need for survival on their planet. In the weeks that followed, the visitors became a new and friendly part of our lives. Is that a movie? Uh, I do not. Yes. A visitor youth organization was formed, encouraging teenagers to join their ranks. The visitors were quickly assimilated into our culture. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Many close relationships developed between our people and theirs. But there were some who were skeptical, too inquisitive. They began to quickly disappear. And then... The world was shocked today when Nobel Prize winner Dr. Morris Jankowski of the Brussels Biomedical Institute in Belgium held a press conference to reveal the existence of an international conspiracy against the visitors. Jankowski had unshakable proof that a conspiracy of scientists around the world was about to seize control of visitor ships for their own gain. A groundswell of resentment and prejudice quickly built against the world scientific community. I can't work for you no more. Because my husband is a scientist? Yeah, he wrecked it up, said I was just a dirty little scientist kid. Another biochemist, uh, Phyllis. She didn't show today. Just like Ruth and all the others. No truth to those rumors. Shall I stay, Daddy? See you, Daddy. Becoming more deeply suspicious of the visitors, news cameraman Mike Donovan infiltrated one of the huge motherships and discovered that the visitors had orchestrated the conspiracy themselves so that scientists would be ostracized around the world. And Donovan also videotaped another startling revelation. As Donovan's tape was about to be broadcast. Just don't. Uh, somebody's pulled AT&T right out from under us. The whole damn network's off the air. Look, we know what's happening. Totalitarian suppression of the truth. Not only on television, but they've got the papers, too. We are under martial law. And paranoia. You've got to be more careful what you say. What? In my own house? But he lives here. You don't really think you call him, do you? Mike Donovan has become a fugitive. Scientist Robert Maxwell and his family, unable to escape the visitor's tightening net, have been given refuge by Abraham Bernstein, a survivor of Hitler's death camps. They have to stay. Or else we haven't learned a thing. And the resistance movement has begun. The theft of equipment for a biochemical lab, spearheaded by med student Julius Parrish and Dr. Ben Taylor, who was mortally wounded. For victory, you understand? Go tell your friends.